what are the three main types of skin cancer that you can get and which one is the worst kind? My name is Brittany Smirnoff and I'm a doctor and a board certified dermatologist and you're watching the Fem Health channel. The three main types of skin cancer are basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. Sunscreen is protective against all of the different types of skin cancers, but it's still important to be wearing the right kind and the right amount of SPF. It's also important to make sure that you get your regular skin checks with a board-certified dermatologist. When it comes to grouping, basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas are often put together in a group we call non-melanoma skin cancers or keratinocytic carcinomas. Melanoma starts in a different type of cell called a melanocyte. Basal cell carcinoma usually happens because of strong occasional sun exposure, especially when someone gets a bad sunburn during peak hours or during childhood or their teenage years. People with fair skin, a lot of sunburns, or a family history of skin cancer are more likely to get basal cell carcinomas. And tanning bed use, especially during the formative years of adolescence and teen, uh, increase that risk quite dramatically. Squamous cell carcinoma is more common in people who spend a lot of time in the sun over many years, like those with outdoor jobs. Other things that increase the risk include having a weakened immune system, such as after a solid organ transplant, being older, having fair skin, and certain types of HPV infections. Long-term skin irritation and exposure to radiation or harmful chemicals can also play a role. Melanoma is the most serious type of skin cancer and is linked to getting bad sunburns now and then, especially in early life. Having lots of moles, unusual looking moles, called dysplastic nevi or atypical appearing nevi, or family history of melanoma increases your chances. So does having light skin, hair, and eyes. Using tanning beds or having a weakened immune system can also increase your risk. Melanoma is the most serious type of skin cancer because it can spread to other parts of the body more easily than some of the other types. Even though it only makes up about 1% of skin cancer cases, it causes most deaths from skin cancer. Basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma are much more common, but they almost never lead to death. And a person can have more than one type of skin cancer, either at the same time or at different times. Studies show that if someone had one type of skin cancer, they have a higher chance of getting another type. Your genes, your immune system, System, and things in your environment can also affect your risk. But sun exposure, by far, is the biggest cause of all known types of skin cancer, and also one of the causes that you can control. To lower the risk of all skin cancer, patients should use a broad-spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher. You should apply it generously and remember to reapply every two hours during sun exposure. For people at higher risk, like those with weakened immune systems or a history of skin cancer, higher SPF products like SPF 50 or SPF 100 could offer some additional protection. And there is some evidence to show that SPF 100 can better reduce DNA damage than SPF 30 or 50. But for most people, the bare minimum SPF 30 is reliable for sun protection against both melanoma and non-melanoma skin cancers. Now, sunscreen is not the only thing you should be doing. Sunscreen works best with its com when it's combined with other protective modalities. These include staying in the shade, wearing sun protective clothing, and avoiding the sun during peak hours. It's also important to have your skin checked by a dermatologist, especially if you have any concerning areas. The dermatologist can figure out what should be bi biopsied versus watched closely so that if you do have any skin changes, they're caught early when they can easily be treated. Together, these strategies provide the strongest defense against skin cancer. Hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.